What's up everyone? Welcome to the review of the Alcatel Ideal. The Ideal features a 4.5 inch LCD capacitive display that has a resolution of 480 by 854 and a pixel density of 218. The handset features a 5 megapixel rear fixed focus camera that records in 720p. Camera features include face detection, smile detection, self timer, geotagging, scene modes, HDR, and face beauty. And on the front of the handset, it has a 2 megapixel shooter. The handset runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and has a quad core 1.1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 chipset with 1 gigabyte of RAM, a Cortex A7 CPU, and an Adreno 304 GPU. And Quadrant has just finished and we got a score of 9,225. Right there. If we look down here, the CPU is, let me see if my camera will focus. 36,720 with a memory of 3,099. And I did make mention in previous in a previous video that I forgot which one it was that I was going to stop announcing that probably because it probably doesn't you know make any sense but there you go so Geekbench has just finished and we got a score of 385 for the single core and about 990 for the multi core and as you probably uh, saw it was at 100% battery so it dropped down to 94% during this test and it just dropped to 93% so there you go So I hit my wall, sorry about that. Yeah, we're not on the board. Or chart, whatever you like to call that. You shouldn't expect much out of a 1.1 gigahertz uh, processor. Now on to storage. The Alcatel Ideal has about 8 gigabytes of built-in storage with around 3.37 gigabytes available to the user right out of the box. The handset, well the handset storage can be Further expanded via the micro SD card on SD card slot on back. The handset can support up to 120 gigabyte SD card, just like the Galaxy Luna. The Ideal is powered by a 1,780 milliamp hour Li on battery that is removable if needed. Battery talk time is is around five hours, while battery standby time is around 220 hours. Now on to gaming. I have downloaded Dead Trigger to test the gaming performance on this $10 phone, quote unquote. So as usual I'll be back when the game is fully loaded up. Okay the game is loaded and we're ready to play. So before I start playing I like to point out that during the um, intro of this game I did not see any lag or hiccups. So that's a good thing. Let's start playing. So far, no lag really at all, which is actually quite surprising. The, the usual lag when rounding this corner, as usual. They struggle to keep it in frame. Like I mentioned before, I'm not into these uh, shooter games. They're fun at first, but honestly, to me, they get a little old. No, you don't. Ah, get back. Go infect someone else. Alright, as I'm walking here and I'm panning around a little bit, as you can probably see here, there's really no hiccups at all. It's nice and fluid. But the screen isn't the best to play on, as you can see. I mean, to me, this angle kills kills the display, as you can see there. Like, this is okay. Like, that is okay. Like, this is okay. But nonetheless, the ideal plays just fine on Dead Trigger. And going back home. Nice and fluid. And I don't know why, but this thing detects that this is the home screen. I don't know why. 
Hopefully I can change it to be this one because this is my main screen right here as you can probably see. But anyway, the device is nice and fast and fluid. In conclusion, the Alcatel Ideal is a pretty nice little handset. It won't break the bank. It offers some pretty good things such as a decent battery. Uh, camera's not the greatest. Um, software is under 5.1.1. And it does come with the usual bloatware such as Amazon 18. Sorry about that. All of a sudden, jump good guys. My mother just handed me something. Where was I? This thing comes with the usual AT&T apps from AT&T because this is an AT&T device. We get Amazon. And I might have went over this in the unboxing, but if you didn't watch the unboxing. This device comes with Amazon, AT&T Locker, AT&T Protect Plus, AT&T Smart Wi-Fi, uh, Device Help, Direct TV, which is new to me, Drive Mode, what else, Lookout, My AT&T, Plenty, which is also new to me, uh, Setup and Transfer, Translate, Google Translate, Uber, Usage, Man Usage Manager, Visual Voicemail, and WPS Office and YP Mobile. So this device comes with quite a bit of bloatware, but you can disable some of them, if not all of them. So that's also a good thing. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does it. Come on. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Alcatel Ideal. Now see you again in the next one.